Hello everyone and welcome to the Anti-Hero series where you can learn all about hero countering. The goal of this video is to provide decent countering options and thereby improving your chances of winning. Welcome back! So in this episode we'll be looking at Gushen and at what heroes can counter him. Before we get started, take a quick second to drop a like and to subscribe to the channel. It's a simple way to contribute to the channel growth and encourage more videos like this one in the future. Having that said, let's begin. First skill, Sword Spike. Gujan throws a dagger in a set direction, dealing magic damage and marking the first target hit. Use the skill again to have Gujan move behind the target and deal magic damage. Second skill, Shadow Blade Slaughter. Gujan throws daggers forward, each dealing magic damage to targets and slowing them. Use Shadow Blade Slaughter again to recall the daggers, each one dealing magic damage to enemies along the way. Ultimate Incandescence. Gujan dashes toward the targeted location, immediately resetting the cooldown of Sword Spike and Shadow Blade Slaughter. Use Incandescence again to dash a short distance in the targeted direction. After Shadow Blade Slaughter is reset, Gujan is able to immediately throw forth 5 daggers and recall 10 once the skill is used again. Passive Dagger Specialist each time Gujan casts a skill, a rune is added to his dagger. After stacking three runes, the next basic attack deals extra damage equal to the target's HP lost, and Gujan recovers a proportion of the damage dealt as HP. In 1v1 encounters, first take the offensive with Sword Spike to attack the enemy and charge in with its secondary stage. Then, launch Shadow Blade Slaughter at them and use Incandescence to draw close to the target and launch another Shadow Blade Slaughter. Finally, recall the daggers and use Sword Spike once more to deal burst damage. In teamfights, first launch Shadow Blade Slaughter at the target, then Incandescence to draw close and launch another Shadow Blade Slaughter and then a Sword Spike. After this, recall Shadow Blade Slaughter's daggers. Lastly, charge at the enemy with Sword Spike once more to deal burst damage, then make your exit with Incandescence. The first counter for today's episode is Jawhead. So, Jawhead is a great fighter that is actually a counter to a lot of heroes, including Gushan. He can lock targets with his ultimate and then quickly burst Gushin down with his first and second ability. Usually that should be enough to counter any squishy heroes like assassins, marksmen or mages. Now since Gushin's daggers do a lot of damage, Winter Truncheon would be a great item to have, as it will help you block all of his bursts. As a second option, let's check out Lolita. She is a great option, especially when your enemies core are heroes that use projectiles. Her shilling skill will block anything that passes through it, however make sure to perfect your timing and use it very wisely, meaning you want to protect your own teammates and damage dealers. Also don't forget Lolita's ultimates and her blink as it will help you set up some nice slows and stuns which will play in your team's favor. And as the day is closer, the one and only Cho. Cho is a very mobile fighter that can easily outmaneuver many assassins, including Gushin. Also, his ultimate is a direct counter to Gushin, as it will quickly disable and prevent him from daggering you properly. Next to that, Cho's first and second skills provide him a lot of mobility and from all of that jumping around, Gushin will have a real hard time to set up his daggers. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions on other counter heroes, make sure to share them with the community in the comment section down below. Also for all the game enthusiasts, I'd like to mention that you can now join the official Discord channel, where you can share your experiences and possibly make some new friends. So if you're interested, 
you can find the Discord link in the description. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.